Hey, what's up guys? Hope you're doing well. Appreciate you checking out the uh, video today. We have something extremely important um, that any, really any vehicle needs, um, whether it's off-road or not, is fire extinguishers. And I said two, so kind of for overlanding, I think having one for, you know, the engine and stuff, and then one for like actual fires, uh, like on the campground or somewhere like that is important. So we got some cool stuff from H3R that we're gonna open and they have all kinds of mounting brackets, uh, brackets for Jeeps, um, universal brackets, seat brackets, all that kind of stuff. We're gonna open this up, I'm gonna show you guys what's inside. Yeah, I do wanna thank uh, H3R for sending this out. Appreciate you guys. Um, so let's do it. All right guys, so packages came in the mail and we're gonna check it out. I do wanna say this is a super cheap like Walmart extinguisher i've ran for a little bit and i've had this for like maybe a year and you can see it already needs to be recharged it's just kind of flimsy plastic it's probably like 20 bucks and if you spray it it's just dirty and nasty chemical powdery stuff everywhere so uh, honestly i need to replace that for the garage but anyway that's kind of what i've been rocking with um in the car and in the garage and yeah pretty excited to open this thing up um also, shout out to Gerber. Gerber makes the coolest stuff ever. Side note, I used to actually kind of design knives here and there back at a couple jobs ago. So, anyway. Um, yeah, we got two different extinguishers here. We got a, um, a kind of like a mini size. I think it's like a one pound or 1.4. I can't remember. And then we have like a full size. Dude, gummy bears. <laughs> Sick. Yo, H3R knows what's going on. Thanks for the gummies, yo. Man, what if this is just all gummy bears? Sweet, wow. Love it, love it, love it, love it. So we got all kinds of goodies here. So this is a uh, bracket for one of them. I think this is for the small one. We'll see. We'll all see. Oh man, super cool. Thank you guys so much, man. That is awesome. I have to check that out. And then we got, oh gosh, uh, what is this? Another, oh yeah, this is the seat mount. Very cool. So guys, I'm going to mount one in the driver's seat, like underneath where my feet are, um, and then one in the camper, which I'm probably gonna release this video after I get the new camper set up. I'm not actually gonna install um, the fire extinguisher uh, in there until I actually get the camper because, because reasons. So, wow, here's the big boy. This is the 2.5. Um, they also have different finishes and you know, I got Chrome because Chrome or machined, whatever looks dope. So got that. Um, and then this is the mini guy. This is the, uh, and I think I got this in red. Honestly, I can't remember. We'll see. Um, but yeah, this is a dry chemical. So this is max out. Um, they're two different kind of formulas basically. So, um, clean agent. I'll, I'll do some more like <laughs> thorough kind of, uh, feature talking, I guess. But I think this spray is like clean and it doesn't, um, you know, get all over your engine and stuff. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. We'll, we'll check out the specs later, but then this bad boy, this thing is so freaking cool looking. This is like a billet quick release bracket that I'm gonna put in the new camper. So I'm gonna run the mini one in the back and then I'm gonna run this one in the front um, because the front one is kind of made for engine fires and things like that and the back is kind of an all-purpose fire extinguisher. All right, I just opened that little letter, hooked it up with some stickers, gotta love stickers, thank you guys. And then they sent an awesome note, but it's got my address on it, so I don't want you weirdos to look at that. Cool, let's get these things opened. I'm really anxious to see what these look like. All right, just took everything out of the box, and looky, looky. Man, this thing looks so good. So check out this, like, polished chrome vibe. So uh, if you don't know anything about the rig, matches the wheels. I don't know, maybe I'm getting lame with everything. Skid blades, the cherry can holder. But those will be in the truck anyway, so. Got that one, and then we'll be changing out that bracket, obviously, for the seat mount, so that'll go under the seat. Uh, and then, uh, I got a black one, not a red one, so. 
black one for the camper. This is a nice size. It's like basically, I don't know, you can tell my hand isn't that big, but um, pretty sweet. And then that one I'm going to put on this billet mount um, in the back of the new camper setup when the time comes soon. And this, I believe, mounts to this, and then the whole assembly mounts to this guy. All right, so I'm not really gonna like document the install process. They have some good videos online. They have great instructions. Like this is a piece of cake to follow. Um, but I don't know, maybe I'll just kind of show you how it works real quick. You just put these little brackets on. It just slides over these little plastic uh, brackets. Then there's some screws in there. And you'll basically take those little, right there, you can kind of see those little brass uh kind of nuts in there so you'll line it up and you'll just run those long bolts through there really freaking easy um and then this is the little release pin so i think you can put it on either side depending on your setup we'll see but pretty dang easy um but first before we do this it's gummy time and i can't do this one-handed nope nope but yeah we're gonna eat those. Honestly, don't even like gummy bears, but they're free, so cool. All right, we got this heavy duty bracket on and a little pull to release tab. And I think it's just gonna go just like that in the driver's seat. And then we gotta put that on gummy bear. And I was wrong, you can't switch these pins. Like, that's the lever, so. You pull this and then it comes off like that very cool i don't think it matters which way um you flip this or not but that's how i have it easy all right now we're going to move on to assembling the seat mount and i just watched their video on uh how to do this so looks pretty easy again lots of good instructions couple little bolts holy packaging that's very nice like no way anything can get scratched that's pretty cool so i'll take this out of the paper and then basically you use either the small or the large little brackets uh in your seat whichever one kind of fits and really just goes together guys it's just super easy all right so i'm kind of noticing something we might have a little issue here with a tacoma so if you guys, I don't know if you have a Tacoma or you know what I'm talking about, but on a lot of seats, um, I guess this little area is raised and there's like a, there's like a dip that goes down. This dip is like nothing basically. And these are where it's supposed to mount into. And this is already really far forward. Whereas some of the ones that I've seen in the video were like back here. So I mean, by the time I put this in here, like, it's going to be about there. So let's just kind of rest it there. I mean, like, that's hardly any room for my feet. And it's going to be really annoying, to be honest, getting in and out with that thing there in the way and just catching on my shoes. So I'm kind of trying to rethink where to put this. I mean, even if it, if it was at its most flush spot, which is, like, way up in there, like, I just feel like this is just gonna be in the way, man. Like with my uh, Tacoma seat, I've seen other ones mounted up here and it's no problem at all because there's lots of room, but I'm fighting room in this truck. Um, you guys have probably seen people do the seat mod, which they, they lift up the front uh, and add little blocks here because of this, the seating position in the Tacoma is talked about all the time. So I'm wondering uh, and honestly, the back, there's no way I'm doing that because I won't be able to carry anybody. That's stupid. So, wonder if I could do something like that up above the window and utilize these screws. Because there's screws behind that little plastic plate. I'm not sure, guys. I'm kind of bummed, honestly. Like, I don't, I don't want to do it right there. And I can't do it here because the door won't close, so kind of thinking outside the box here <laughs> just tried that and those are not bolts back there those are just little clips so kind of bummed man don't know what to do um we'll figure it out and i'll get back with y'all 
Hey guys, so it's actually been like a month since I filmed what you just saw. So I finally got the camper. As you can tell, I'm sure you guys have seen the camper videos already on my channel and stuff. But we got the camper and I finally have these things dialed in and it took me forever to actually find a place to put these uh, fire extinguishers. But we're going to show you where I actually put them, why um, I mounted them where I mounted them kind of talk a little bit about the fire extinguishers um, by themselves but luckily haven't had to use them been camping um, several times um, since that last uh, filming or whatever so yeah we're gonna flip the camera around aka my phone and I'll show you guys where I put these things all right so what I ended up doing is not putting them at all in the interior and you're probably thinking, well, that's stupid, Grant. Why would you do that? You need quick access. Well, that's true. And having this GFC gave me that quick access um, because it's just two little latches like this and it's open, super easy. So I'll show you that one in a second and then I'll show you the other one. Um, I'm gonna open the swing out the Nemo way Shout out to Nemo if you're watching this. <laughs> Can open this puppy up all the way. This is where I put the second one. Right here. You're also probably wondering why the heck did you put that there? Because what, if there's a fire, you're going to open up the hatch and all that stuff? No. So this is kind of my auxiliary um, fire extinguisher. So this is kind of the the smaller one. So this is the max out version. So this particular one is kind of meant for smaller fires like campfires or something like when I'm actually camping and I'm actually standing in this area. Like right here, I put my propane stove and I cook kind of at a corner. And so this is sitting here like next to my stove basically. So if a crazy fire, whatever happens right here, I just pop this little quick release bracket, grab it and we're good to go or like let's say over there um my campfire gets out of control or whatever i'm i can easily get this so this is like a smaller backup um it's a dry chemical agent and the whole thing with these fire extinguishers is they stay charged a lot longer than like your typical crappy one from the store or whatever and they're just more efficient and they have better chemicals in there that don't really you know destroy the planet so anyway uh, this is on that quick release bracket, that billet bracket, and I have it on my deck drawer here. But insanely high quality, super cool, and it just goes on right like that. No rattle whatsoever, so that's super cool. I have that one there, just at arm's reach when I'm actually at camp, so that's not the primary fire extinguisher. Um, this one right here is the primary, and this is the, the Halgard version, so... This has a, um, it's, it's not nasty and like chemically, it's safe for electronics. Um, it's for like an engine fire or something like that. Or like say someone got in a wreck and their, their stuff's on fire. I can just pop this thing out and use this quick release right here. Yank that, pull it off and we're good to go. So I have this here on that quick release little bracket thing, which that's actually that's actually not smart at all. Look at that. I'm admitting to you guys that I'm a real human and I make mistakes. <laughs> I put this little Gerber camp knife thing right here like a dummy. So now I can't pull this and release it. All right, so just to prove what this uh, mount looks like, I had to move this thing up, but don't worry, I'm gonna fix that. But it just swings off a little groove right there. Hopefully you can see that goes in just like that. So extremely quick access. Yeah, this is the primary big daddy. This Halgard is safe for your engine bay. It's not going to leave a total mess and residue and all that crap. Um, that's another huge benefit because if you do have a fire and you spray it with some cheap fire extinguisher, you have a whole crazy mess to clean up. It's nasty. So that's where I've decided to put these. Um, if I didn't mention it in the video earlier, they make specific vehicle kits as well. So 
I know a lot of you guys um, have Jeeps that are subscribed to the channel. They make Jeep roll bar kits. They make Jeep seat stuff. They make all kinds of um, stuff specifically for your vehicle. So I know it's kind of a nerdy, lame video talking about, you know, fire extinguishers. I know we want to talk about fridges and drawers and all the, all the cool stuff, but you're not going to have any of that if you, you know, if your, your vehicle burns up. So that's super important is just at least get one fire extinguisher, at least have some means of putting out a fire. Cause I've seen a lot of y'all's freaking wiring job and it is not good, uh, including my own, but I, I cleaned that up. We're good on the wiring now. So anyway, um, be smart and uh, get, you, get you one of these guys. They're, they're awesome. So hopefully I never have to use it on a vehicle or anything or honestly in general. But it's a good peace of mind, uh, again, knowing. And again, check out all the brackets and stuff. They've really thought of the whole full package. So yeah, I think that's about it. I uh, appreciate you guys watching this video. Um, check out the links in the description for specifics on these products and whatnot. Um, yeah, that's really all I got for you. Appreciate it. hope you guys stay safe, and we'll see you in the next video. Later.